Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about the mighty name of Jesus, and we're going to continue in that series of studies on the mighty name of Jesus. When we use the name of Jesus, uh, the Bible tells us many different things that we can do in the name of Jesus. We must preach, teach, and minister in Jesus' name. You see, when the early church, after Jesus had commissioned them and, 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 and Jesus had ascended back in heaven, we find in the book of Acts, very interestingly, that when the, the apostles and later on all the disciples, when they all ministered, they preached, they taught, and they ministered in Jesus' name. That means the work of the ministry that they did, they did it in the name of Jesus. When we say in Jesus' name, we are saying we are doing this to represent Jesus. We are doing this to reveal Jesus. So if I am preaching and teaching in the name of Jesus, I've got to reveal and represent Jesus through my preaching and my teaching. What I want to bear on our hearts today is this. If we, the church today, are preaching and teaching in the name of Jesus, and if we are doing it the way Jesus did it, then we should have the same outcomes, that even we should see healings, deliverances, miracles. The next thing that we do uh, in Jesus' name is that we heal the sick in Jesus' name. Why do we do it? Because Jesus said, in my name, you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. When you and I minister to the sick, what should we expect? It is as good as Jesus ministering to that sick person. That's what it means when we say in Jesus name, there are miracles in that name. Uh, Jesus said in Mark 16 and verse 17 and 18, he said these signs, I mean, these miraculous things, these supernatural things, these signs will follow those who believe in my name. And he mentioned several things. He says they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, they will drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So signs and wonders are done in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders are simply supernatural things. They are suspending the norm. They are suspending natural laws. They are suspending uh, what would normally take place and cause something that is supernatural to take place. Those are signs and wonders. And that's what the early church prayed for. Jesus said, we can cast out demons in his name. Uh, in Mark 16 verse 17, he said, in my name, they will cast out demons. That means in the name of Jesus, there is authority and demons will have to listen to us. You know, there are evil spirits that cause all kinds of problems to people. Some of you watching right now or listening right now, you may be tormented and oppressed by evil spirits in your mind, in your emotions. Uh, there could be all kinds of confusions taking place. And, uh, you know, in the name of Jesus, Jesus said, we will cast them out. And you and I stand in the name of Jesus and command evil spirits to leave. So in the spiritual realm, who are you? As a believer, you are an heir of God. You're a joint heir with Jesus. You are covered with the armor of God. You are anointed by the Holy Spirit. You are in Christ. You are seated at the right hand of God in Christ. Jesus said in his name, we will do greater works than what he did. The Bible gives us examples uh, of people being healed and delivered. But today we can see even greater things. Uh, things that may, may not be necessarily recorded exactly in scripture, but we can see it because Jesus said greater works than these you will do. You know, but all of this comes out of our relationship with God. People will try to use this name uh, and do all kinds of things, uh, uh, attempting um, uh, uh, to draw people uh, in his name, attempting to deceive people in his name. But Jesus said, and this was in Matthew chapter 7, he said, you know, but I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. Why? Because they didn't have a relationship with Jesus. They just wanted to use that name to gain something out of that name. Uh, but you and I understand the importance that when we pray, when we minister, we do it because we're in a relationship with Jesus. We do it in order to glorify Him. We do it in order to bring people to Him. And of course, uh, we live lives that honor Him. 